Hello everybody, this is Jay with JRWeldy.net. Today is Saturday, October 28th, 2017. It is a Saturday and it's 11.27 a.m. Today I want to talk about C-File Server, which um, can be purchased for an enterprise server, but there is also a download for uh, a slightly dummied down version of C-File Server. C-File Server uh, is like Dropbox, but it's a private enterprise cloud solution. Uh, file hosting platform, high reliability and performance. Puts the files on your server, sync and share files across different devices or access all the files as a virtual disk. So if we go over to downloads, we'll notice that there is desktop syncing clients for Windows, Linux and Mac along with a terminal client for Ubuntu, Debian, and Fedora. And there is also desktop drive clients, which are different than these clients above. And this is how I use C-File Server. I uh, set up the server, which is down here at the bottom, and they have four different uh, flavors of Linux servers, server for Windows and Raspberry Pi. I have my server running on a Windows Server 2012 R2 as a virtual machine and, um, and when I install the client, the, the desktop client on Mac, which also requires you to install OS X Fuse first and then the beta version of client Mac, it has iPad, iPhone and Android support also. I have over a wide area network connection network shared folders. So this is really important uh, for a lot of things which means that regardless of where I go in the world as long as I have an internet connection and that's rare, rare that I don't, I have access to a shared network folder over wide area network. Uh, we'll drop into uh, my library and we have, um, let's go into family photos and I am on my home network at this point but I also have this on my Mac Pro on uh, my Mac or I'm sorry my HP Z800 workstation I have it on my iPhone I have it on my iPad Pro so I have access to the same file structure on all my devices at the same time. And this is very important to me because my 27 inch iMac here at home some time ago, the 500 or the one terabyte hard drive that I had in it crapped out. And I went to crucial.com and picked up a 256 gig hard drive, which when I start editing files, uh, in Final Cut Pro or I have large website files that I need to maintain would overload my hard drive space on my iMac. I do have a 500 gig hard drive in my Mac Pro and uh, of course uh, iPhone and iPad have their native respective hard drive space. But now I can see my files and edit them in real time um, without having to copy and paste. Uh, which is really very important. So let's go back into the C drive and this is not duplicated folders on my hard drives. I don't do that. I use the um, desktop drive client which enables you to access files on the server without syncing to the local disk. It works like a network drive. Um, both of these work great. If I drag and drop a file or create a file on my Mac Pro MacBook Pro, I can uh, drop it in this folder, it syncs out and uh, shows the file structure on my other devices. So I've been using this for about three months now and I'm getting ready to move it into an enterprise solution at my workplace. Uh, we have a unique situation where we have three people that have a network drive shared to or one person with a network drive shared to three other people, four other people at three different locations. 
And um, there are certain people on the road, uh, supervisors and uh, leadership staff, that need to have access to these network drives, and I've never been able to really do that comfortably. And um, now I can with C file. So that's going to be a huge help that our corporate users that need access to those map network drives uh, will be able to access them over a wide area network securely. The other part of C file server is server side and uh, it is managed very nicely in a web interface. So if I decide that I want to create a new library we have a test one library here and we'll go ahead and um, drag a couple files in which is drag and drop so there we go and let's drag this one in and we will drag this one in so now we have a web interface that if we needed to on someone else's computer uh, give them guest access user access level um, and they'll be able to log in through a web browser and download the assets that I need them to have without uh, having to do large file email transfer stuff like that just give them a link which is really nice because uh, here we have a download link we have a share link we have a trash link and we have rename move copy history and open via client nice that if we lock a file or download it and we make a modification to that file and we re-upload it as the same file name it's going going to ask do you want to keep both and then it creates a versioning history uh, let's go ahead and we'll pick one of these and we will say um, share the link we can do download link but we can also add password protection and we can also add auto expiration by days so if this is a time sensitive link and we want it to disappear after five days we can do that so let's go ahead and uh, do the simplest form of sharing we'll click on the download link I think Oh, we have to hit generate first there we go now we can download that link and open it up in an email uh, here's the link here's a direct download link raw let's send that we can send it to by email and message and then hit submit and it'll send it to an email okay um, when we are done with that if we want we can come in here and we can just trash it and it's gone oh uh, that was probably yep there we go test one I, I wanted to show you the folder that it created the folder uh, in the desktop app but this is uh, to me a great asset uh, especially in my design business uh, where I do web design and graphic design to be able to uh, just uh, be anywhere and work with the same file structure that I would if I were in my office and for the company that I work for uh, to be able to have transparency into the folders at different locations that uh, our corporate and management leadership staff need to have um, again this is C file you can download it free of charge um, from cfile.com and you can also purchase a professional edition which you can uh, go ahead and see different differences between the server for Windows and the professional edition uh, server for Windows requires you to install Python and add a environment variable uh, to Windows so that Windows knows where to look for Python 
Other than that, it was probably a 10 or 15 minute installation time. Very easy to do. And then uh, when you connect the client, it just goes to uh, ask you to add a client. We'll go ahead and do that. Uh, what the server name is, username, password, automatic login, and the computer name can all be added in there. Um, and then on the C file side, you uh, add users to libraries. Let's see. Oh, you go to system admin. and then users. This tells you how many uh, libraries are available at any given time, the active users. Um, devices, you can see that I have quite a few devices logged in here. Settings, general settings, what do you want to use for different things, groups, notifications, etc. Uh, email I didn't set up. You can go to uh, their FAQ and any time and and add some lines to the configuration py .py file uh, to enable email, uh, which I am going to do for the company I work for, so that they get notifications on changes to documentation or ads to libraries that they're watching. So, great program very stable. Uh, larger files take a little bit longer of course to sync uh, the information back and forth uh, but just uh, really great if you have a home computer that has a couple one terabyte hard drives in it. Uh, my server has four, four one terabyte hard drives uh, in RAID so that uh, I get two terabyte at any given time to use and uh, has 24 gig of RAM memory so it's a pretty stable machine the internet connectivity here at my home home office is very stable uh, and again like I said I maybe five percent of the time I'm out and don't have internet access um, so to be able to uh, create on the road and upload and then go into the office and work on that same file structure is just wonderful. C file server, cfile.com. I'm Jay Weldy with jrweldy.net. Thank you very much again for watching my videos. If you like them, please hit that thumbs up.